including including with one game um all your accomplishments that you've had from start to finish how do you find the motivation to carry on doing that is it like a bit of a a prize fighter mindset it's like well, what's the next target what's the next goal to achieve yeah i mean i think everything has come with like a different motivation behind it mm-hmm. so like obviously 2012 was my first olympics and to be honest win or lose it didn't matter for me there yeah like as much as yes like i was going in as double world champion so the two olympic events that i was going to race i was world champion at the time mm-hmm. so yeah there was a bit of pressure but I mean, everyone thought I fluked that anyways. So right. it didn't really make a difference because I was just like, all right, if I fluked it, I fluked it. If I didn't, I'm at the Olympics. we're going to yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so it didn't really matter. And then obviously, it ha- like, I won. And it then became a bit of, I guess I had like two years of being like, well, what next? Because for me, winning the Olympics was the ultimate. And right. But I always thought that would come at the end of your career. Not many people get it and then keep going. Yeah, like, just keep saying, oh, well, I'll just try well. another one. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It, it just all happened really fast. And then I was just like, well, it's too early. I'm not going to retire. Yeah. Like, it's too early to stop. So what's next? And then it became like a real obsession for me to prove that I didn't just do it once. Like I wasn't just a one-hit wonder. Mm-hmm. Because there's not many athletes who have gone and won the same events again. Like, and again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so I was just like, well... I want to prove that I didn't fluke any of it. I want to yeah. prove that I can be one of the greats, like, because that's what I was about to say earlier, actually, like one of the biggest achievements for me is actually I'm third in the all time um, Olympian list. Right. And for me, like, I used to look back at things like that, you know, as a kid, when you're learning, like they'll say, oh, can you history of Olympic, the Olympic history, GB Olympic history. And like, you'd look down the list and now I'm third on that. And so like, for me, yeah, like that makes me feel really proud. And so, yeah, I wanted to prove that I was good enough to be amongst that list. But then between that one, which was obviously Rio and Tokyo, we had Albi. And yeah. all of a sudden, everything changed for me. Like, it wasn't so much motivation to go and win. It was motivation so that all the sacrifices I'd made with Albi mm-hmm. were worth it. And it's a really funny and, and, like, fine line, I think, that I was treading in a way. Because I don't think, looking back, I don't think I'd have been satisfied that all the sacrifices were worth it if I hadn't have won. Like, right, and it's okay. like a real funny balance. Just for me, I just felt like I'd sacrificed so much time with my little boy. Yeah. And like I'd say less so than I know some people have as well. Like Albie literally travelled around with me. But it still seemed like a sacrifice to me. Like every time I'd go out for like a three-hour ride, I was away from him. 